Hey guys, the day before this video, Almighty Gaven responded to some interesting questions. The answers he gave were pretty short most of the times, but I took out some of the interesting ones so I can show you how it turned out. So someone asked, what is the status of Half-Life 3, Half-Life 2 Episode 3? To which he answered, the number 3 must not be said. So basically, the only good news from this is that Gaben has finally replied with a number 3. The same person asked, is Valve still working on any fully fledged single player games? To which he answered with a simple yes. This most likely means that we will see more single player games from Valve. Another question that was asked was, how many people are now working on CSGO? To which he answered 20 to 30. Why does Valve not talk to its community about the game's apps as much as other companies are? Gaben had a response to this and also to a follow-up question, which you can see here. But to summarize what he means, Valve has a general design which is constantly changing. What? To understand what it means, you need to understand how Valve functions as a company. Basically, their company structure. Because as you could probably guess, the structure is different compared to most companies. If you read Valve's handbook for new employees, you understand why they do things the way they do them. And it's actually very interesting. It's a really cool handbook that I will put a link to in the video description. And in the handbook, there's a section called Welcome to Flatland, which explains how Valve works. So basically they have a flat structure because they believe that you should be allowed to work on what you want, instead of having someone force you to work on specific tasks, which could potentially remove your true talent as an artist and innovator. No one will tell you what you need to work on. It's up to you to figure out where you can be to become most effective. So basically you, just like everyone else, has a very big responsibility for managing the company. This responsibility means that it's not always easy for Valve to communicate to their customers because of its general design. Which is why you will often see that Valve likes to communicate through their game updates. Here's a great answer by Gaben from someone who asked, how is the employee ratio at Valve? For example, how many work for Dota 2 compared to CSGO and other Steam related stuff? To which he responded with, it changes all the time. There is no fixed ratio and people move to the project where they think they can create the most value. That right there confirms that the structure of Valve is still flatland. Let's continue with the last questions I thought were interesting, such as how long will it be until Valve adds CSGO servers in other parts of the world, such as Russia? To which he responded with, we're adding servers all the time. This basically confirms that more servers will be in more parts of the world. Next question I liked was, are you planning to be at the CSGO major? With the response, I'm sure I'll be at one in the future. Just scheduling. And last question for Gaben I thought was interesting was, wasn't there a movie or a set of two movies coming in that universe by Valve and J.J. Abrams? He means the Half-Life and Portal universe, to which Gaben responds with, yep, they're coming. So to summarize, Gaben replied with the number three, Valve are still working on single player games. There's about 20 to 30 working with CSGO at the moment, and that could change any time because of their flat structure. More servers are coming around the world. Sadly, we won't see them at the major. And two movies have been confirmed. Ido from Valve also replied to an interesting question. When is the Source 2 engine coming out for CSGO? To which the most interesting part of his response was, Source 2 is a bunch of system rewrites. For CSGO, we evaluate these new systems on their individual merits. Some CSGO rework is in progress, such as the user interface that utilizes parts of Source 2. Other systems might follow. Some Source 2 systems might never be right for CSGO. This could mean many different things, but the good news is that it is still a work in progress. Let me know what you think about this. Thanks for watching, stay awesome, and go bananas.